News watch. Watch, watch, watch. A cat paralysed after being hit by a car is learning to walk again by taking swimming lessons. Mog the grey tabby lost the use of his front two legs but is slowly learning to use them again in a hydrotherapy pool normally used by more enthusiastic dogs. That's pretty, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Learning to walk. So, it, so it wasn't two actually front legs are par- Two front legs are paralysed. Can't be that. Can't use his front legs. Oh, so they're still paralysed. No, but he's like getting the feeling back into them right, by so paddling because paddling, yeah. uh, paddling puts less pressure on them yeah. pres- presumably. So they're not right? actually paralysed then. Uh, should we just get through the article and it will sort of... Yeah, sure, okay, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He strikes an amusing figure in the pool as he meows loudly and makes gurgling sounds as he paddles around. Now, call me old-fashioned, but that sounds more like drowning yeah, yeah. Than, get, than swimming. <laughs> He's now lost the use of his back legs as well. <laughs> <laughs> and his lungs. <laughs> he makes an amusing gurgling sound as he tries to get them activated again. As he tries to force the air into his lungs, which is fully... fully uh, filled with water. <laughs> There's dogs in the pool which attack Moggy. <laughs> he struggles but can't fend them off. Onlookers were lolling. Loffing? Loffling. Has he got a snorkel mask on? No. no. Cats hate water anyway. I so know they, they do. Like they despise it more than anything. Mm. Mog can now bear his own weight on his front two legs after 10 lessons in the pool. <laughs> Owner Veronica Ashworth said Mog initially looked horrified when she was brought to the hydrotherapy centre. Did she look horrified when she walked in? <laughs> yeah. Like you walked in the lobby and she went, well, and I was like, wait, <laughs> I knew you were up to something. Yeah. Hydrotherapy, hello, I'm a cat. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. But soon she leapt in with a bit of encouragement by Mrs. <laughs> Ashworth from Lost With Eel, Cornwall. Kicked up the arse. Did she leap in or was she like yeah, yeah. tossed in? Thrown in. <laughs> she said, I know it's quite unusual for cats to swim, but he's such a character. <laughs> Isn't that a natural instinct for an animal to try not to die <laughs> yeah. in any given situation? Try and stay alive. It's not that he's enjoying it. But how did it do it to start with? If it couldn't move its front legs at all the first time... What was it doing? It was like just kicking gonna, its back leg, yeah. using its tail as a propeller. His face, his, <laughs> no, his face was dragging along the bottom of the pool. And they just, every 20 seconds, they lift it out and go, oh, can't he hold his breath for a long time? Yeah. And then, That's and a then, funny gurgling sound. And they'd resuscitate him <laughs> already <laughs> for another game. He's like, it's amazing how resilient he is. Cats say they've, got, they've only got nine lives, but he's had about 15 <laughs> <laughs> so you look no wonder he looked so horrified how does a cat first of all cats don't have expressions really do no, they? No. Like-